Hey, what is up guys? It's Otter. Today I'm going to be playing Domination on Octane. Uh, the class I'm using I have set up right there for you guys. It's the MSBS with the red dot and muzzle brake. My perks are Stalker, Amplified, Dead Silence, Focus, and Fully Loaded. Now, last time I played this map with my buddy Hostile, we got camped pretty hard from up top, uh, top parking or, or top of the body shop, top pawn, top hotel, top pinky. So we made the decision that we're just going to camp the top of pinkies the whole game. And as you'll see, every time I die or every time he dies, we just sprint straight to pinkies and try and hold it down. Also, you can probably tell I have my mini ghillie suit. It's the concealed cobra. I call it the mini ghillie suit because it's not the full ghillie suit. Uh, one of the guys I watch on YouTube here, uh, Elite Shot, he has a series of him just going for the ghillie suits. And I was like, hey, that's a good idea. Uh, I'm not capturing mine. I'm not making a YouTube video about it because I don't want to be the guy that copies. But I am going for my ghillie suits. Uh, I just got my concealed cobra. I'm pretty excited. Uh, this gameplay is much better than the last one I sent you. I feel kind of bad for using the MSBS because everybody hates that gun, but playing Black Ops 2 so much with the M8, that's my gun. So I figured MSBS, same thing. Now throughout this video, I try and camp right here. If I had had streaks, I would have done so much better. But like I said, as the game was starting, I realized I had no kill streaks at all, which is unusual for me. I haven't really ever played without streaks, uh, but yeah. So, throughout this game, uh, like right there I died, I, I died quite a bit, I didn't die a ton, I did a lot better, almost had a 3-1 KD ratio, I was one kill off, as you'll probably see at the end of the video, I was pushing very hard to try and get that 30th kill. Um, also this game, I just wanted to talk about my control freaks that I got. I have gotten the FPS Freak Ultras from Control Freaks, and... If any of y'all have ever heard about control freaks, you probably hear like they're really weird. They take a while to get used to, but once you get used to it, it helps so much and your aim gets so much better. And I can see a result of that in my videos that I make and in the gameplays that I play. I feel like my aim is a lot better. I'm hitting people more, especially cross map, even on a high sensitivity where instead of jerking all over the place, I'm barely moving and I can stay on the body. Also, in this gameplay, I'm sorry if you guys don't like the fact that I'm quote-unquote camping a lot because that was my main objective in this gameplay. I still did pretty good even though I was camping. Um, but like I was saying about the FPS control freaks, I like them a lot. It took me quite a while to get used to them. And playing Black Ops 2 or Ghost... I can actually snipe with my control freaks, which is the one concern I had because I love sniping. It's what I do in Call of Duty. I've done it ever since I played the, the first Call of Duty I ever played in Call of Duty 4, the very first original Modern Warfare. So I like the control freaks. I like how it doesn't restrict how much I can snipe, things like that. But uh, I kind of have a long gameplay today. It's a 10-minute video, so I'm going to go the entire time no breaks like i said i remember saying no breaks whenever i die uh but every every time i do die in this gameplay i'm pushing straight to pinkies i'm not trying to do anything else but get to pinkies and that, that was really my only objective in this gameplay uh me and hostile said we're like we don't care if we win or lose it was we're just gonna camp pinkies the whole game because i was kind of tired of always being camped on from pinkies right here uh, if it wasn't for those ballistic vests, I would have had a ton of kills. That kid finally got me. Uh, while I was playing, I I was just I was freaking out, going, "Oh, I'm about to turn on this kid that's trying to knife me. I'm gonna turn on this kid trying to knife me." Vest saved him, didn't get him. But hey, that's that's the game sometimes. Also, the thing about the MSBS, I noticed that whenever I was originally playing, you could shoot a lot faster with it. Like you could shoot one burst and then almost instantly shoot a second burst i feel like they nerfed the gun to where you can't shoot the burst that fast anymore uh you can still shoot pretty fast with it but it's nothing like the m8 in black ops 2 which is what i'm used to i'm used to just sending bursts down like raining burst on people and um but like i said this is the kind of gameplay that i want to show you guys and it honestly this was my first game playing with hostile 
we played another game that I was going to record, I was going to use it, and I was going to talk about my control freaks in that game. But as the game progressed, I was not doing that great with the MSBS. We were playing an entire clan. Clan Wars is going on at the moment. They're trying to lock up their Platinum Division. Uh, they had apparently had won every Clan Wars they had played in. They had all the body count stuff. And they were just wrecking us at the beginning. We made an amazing comeback, and I'm kind of mad at myself that I stopped recording. It was amazing. We were down, I believe, like 90 to 140, came back and beat them. I had switched to my MTAR. I went like 40 and 30. My KD was awful. But just the fact that I started out like 1 and 12 and was able to go 40 and 30, I felt was really nice. Uh, a little bit about my class setup, guys. Uh, with Stalker, I feel whenever I use an AR, if I'm playing an objective game like Domination, Search, whether it's Search and Rescue or Search and Destroy, I love having Stalker. Being able to turn a corner, aim down sights, because a lot of people, they still camp. And I mean, that's Call of Duty for you. Everyone's going to camp in Call of Duty. I've camped my fair share. Stalker, I love the fact that I'm able to turn a corner, aimed in, and with my Razor Sabertooth controller, if they're crouched down in a corner, whenever I turn the corner, I can just tap my back trigger, jump up, and start shooting. Uh, also, Dead Silence, a must for me. I hate hearing my own footsteps. Uh, Amplified, that's just because, you know, if, if I can sound horror team, I'm going to sound horror team. Uh, whatever helps me keep my KD up, especially in objective games, like playing Search without Amplify, I found out. It's really frustrating because if you're playing search and rescue and say it's a one on five and you're trying to clutch it for your team and be a hero without amplify it becomes difficult it's still difficult like I'm not gonna lie I'm no MLG pro over here I didn't go to Columbus but I feel like with amplify my chances are a lot better than what they would be without amplify and then focus of course focus will help you in so many gunfights you can sit there, use focus, and you'll probably see in this video or you've seen in my videos, I'm getting shot at and I still manage to get the kill and win the gunfight because I can I can keep shooting while I'm being shot at and fully loaded, of course. It's just because in this objective gameplay, I wasn't planning on moving around a lot. I wasn't planning on dying a lot, so I wanted to get fully loaded and be able to have ammo the entire game especially without having kill streaks usually i have something like uh ammo crate on and if i'm going to be holding down a spot like this i just throw the ammo crate next to me but that's that's mainly it about my class setup uh obviously i had the kiss of death camo uh i got that camo i believe the week before i stopped playing this game i joined a, a clan just because i really wanted this camo i like the camo uh I'm kind of mad I stopped playing. I was looking at a lot of my guns. I could have a lot of gold guns in this game, but instead I play Black Ops 2. You know, that's just how things work. Uh, this gameplay, it's going to be wrapping up here shortly in a couple of minutes. Uh, right now, it looks like they're going to make a comeback on us, and that's what I was thinking until I looked at the score. I went ahead and rotated over to where Hostile was because he's running around with a light machine gun on this map, and he was taking forever to get back. So every time he would die, I'd be on my own, in pinkies, and you know what they say, one's the loneliest number, especially whenever you have a ton of people running at you trying to shoot you. But as this gameplay kept going on, I started to like the MSBS more and more. Uh, I, I hope it's not one of those guns I start using, just because I know like what people would say about the MSBS. And uh, right there, guys, that's my example of focus, how it helps out so much. I was getting shot at and I was able to keep down sights and shooting at him. Uh, whenever it comes to things like ARs, I usually prefer the SC2010. Uh, I'll use the Remington, uh, I'm not going to lie. The Remington, I believe, is one of those guns that people people use it if they're quote unquote being a tryhard. And I hate that word, by the way. I've called people tryhards before, I've said it my fair share of times the way that i see it though is if you're playing the game you're trying so why would you call someone a tryhard and if you're playing the game for fun like i do 90 percent of the time and you're not trying to run around and kill a ton of people i just i don't understand the point honestly of getting mad at people for trying hard 
I just see it as I'm having fun. I hope they're having fun. And that's that's what this game's for. It's not for sitting there and freaking out, ripping your hair out all the time. And things like that. But right here, guys, this is where I was at my 29. And I was like, oh, I need to get to 30. I need to get to 30. And I just start running. Right here, I realize I'm running out of time. I just run straight. I never do this. I run straight down the middle. Try and find someone. I just want to shoot them so bad. But no, I don't get it. So game's over, guys. We end up winning. It was a great game. Uh, shout out to my buddy Hostile, who ended up going like 34 and 5. Pretty good, guys. Till next time.